said that I was going to do a survey tag from one of my favorite all-time awesome Canadian band, Handy Socks, who rocks my socks. Anyways, and she always has these great tags, so I decided to do this one, and here are the questions in my responses. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alrighty. Question one is what was or is your biggest obsession? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> Alright. When I was a kid, when that was like <laughs> years ago, um, I loved like boy bands and the Spice Girls and, you know, stuff like that. Um, Pogs, um, you know, we're talking like in the 90s people, you know, 90s were the shit. So, yeah, gotta love, gotta love the 90s. Anyways, now, actually, since I was probably 13 years old, I have been the most biggest fan of Law Order SV SVU. Thank you, Stephanie March. She is my idol. If you guys do not know who that is, Google Stephanie March. Um, she was the blog DA for a while on the show, and she actually is back this season for the 13th season. And she's beautiful, and I just, I am a huge fan of hers. Basically, her number one fan. Um, long story behind that. So, yeah, so that's, that's the answer to that question. Question number two is, if you can go back and change one thing about your life, what would it be? Um, I would have to give this a lot of thought. Um, well, there's no such thing as being normal, so, um, I can't say, you know, oh, I wish I was normal, but I kind of wish that I was, um, didn't need as much help as other people, let's just say. Um, so yeah, that's one thing that I wish I could change. And I've gotten a lot better, I must say. Um, but as some of you may or may not know, if you haven't watched one of my vlogs, um, I explain that I am an ABI um, survivor. So, um, there are things in my life where are, there are some are easy, some of the things that I do in my life, um, require more attention. And, um, sometimes things for me are, are, are difficult, um, as life is difficult in general for, for anyone. But, um, so yeah, so that's definitely. Next question, do I like to read? If so, what book are you reading right now? You would think that I would read more often and I would have a wish list of books or I would be some sort of bookworm at my age. To be honest, I'm not. 
Um, I read a lot of my information on the internet. Um, ever since I've gotten the internet, which was when I was a kid, I've always used that as a reliable resource. So I don't actually pick up a book and actually read it. Um, I did when I was in school a lot. Um, I've always enjoyed expressive reading. Um, I was the kid in, in class where, you know, you you would see me raising my hand constantly and, you know, pick me, pick me, you know, and um, if there was a book that I would read right now, it would definitely have to be anything by um, Ram Dass, who is a wonderful um, spiritual uh, guru, uh, philosopher, um, and human being in general. Um, Krishna Das's uh, Chance of a Lifetime, which is around here somewhere, and um, I actually think I want to pick that up and start reading it, but I just, you won't see me actually picking up a book and reading it unless I really have a real, real interest in it. It depends upon what the subject is and stuff like that, um, preferably non-fiction. And wow, that was a really lengthy response, and I apologize, I didn't think I would I didn't think it would be that long. <laughs> Number four. Have you ever dated someone famous? <laughs> Why, well, yes, I have. No, just kidding. You know Jack Sparrow? You know Jack Sparrow? Does anyone here know Jack Sparrow? Come on. Yeah. Jack Sparrow. Yep. Yeah, I knew you guys were going to fall for that. No, I've never dated anyone um, famous. I wish. Uh, number five. What is your most crippling fear? Crippling? That's really a word? Okay. Um. Probably if it would be getting lost somewhere and not finding, finding um, my way out, like where to go. Um, and also, um, I, at 23 years old, do not drive. Shocker! Everyone's probably going to be like, oh my god, right? You don't drive? No, I don't. Um, I've, everyone asks me, why don't you drive? Well, I will tell you. Um, I would rather save my life than risk it. And when it comes to certain things, I, my mind kind of in other places at times so I would rather use a reliable source such as a friend and have a friend drive me somewhere or use you know some other form of transportation at some point yeah maybe I might be able to drive but I'm just mm, not not at this time um, so that is one of my fears. And everybody that I tell that to, they're all like, I always get different responses and it's, it's like, they're so shocked by it. And 
know, I mean, I don't understand. It's, it's, everyone's different. <laughs> so it's, it may not be normal to you guys, but it's pretty normal to me. So, anyways. Ah, uh, number six. What is my favorite kind of cheese? Well, hello! If you guys haven't seen any of my vlogs or watched my vlogs, you know what cheese I talk about religiously. Cabot, seriously sharp. Oh, well, actually, hold on, hold on. Anything in the dairy aisle? Hello! <laughs> No, oh, no, but really, no. The be uh, the the three cheeses that I absolutely love, Asiago, Go Gouda, and Cabot Seriously Sharp. You will find those in my kitchen someday with a nice, huge bottle of white wine. I'm not a fan of red. Remember that, people. Not a fan of red. I've tried it once. Uh uh. Can't go back. No, no, no. <sighs> Number seven. Have I ever been proposed to? <laughs> High school. Yes. Several times. Um. And it was really ridiculous, and they were really stupid, stupid, and it it was just stupid. Um, and um, I'm hoping that one day um, I get a surprise proposal, so that will be nice. I just have this whole thing in my head, you know, that whole dream. But yeah, it was in high school, a couple of the guys that used to like me were like, will you marry me? They were so, they were such douches. Ugh. Anyways, so yeah. <laughs> Number eight, have you ever gambled in a casino? Yes. Good times, good times, and I hope to go back someday. Um, it was, I it was, I turned 21 in January, and, um, I have family out in the Midwest, um, in Minnesota, Minnesota, and they were out visiting, um, me and my family. And we took them to one of the biggest casinos out here. And um, I had like five dollars on me. So, and I've never had ever done any slot machines before. So I put the five dollars in and I ended up losing my five dollars. So that wasn't that good of a good gambling experience, but it was well worth going to the casino. Mm. How would you describe your fashion sense? Hmm. Casual and kooky, nifty, unique, hipster. And number 10. What is the one band that never leaves your iPod? Following bands that never leave my iPod. Creed, Radiohead. Coldplay, um, Goo Goo Dolls, and several other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, which are striking me crazy. But yeah, a lot of 90s stuff too. Um, so yeah. 
Hope you enjoyed this tag. If you watch this video, you are it, man or woman or dude or dudette, whatever you want to call yourself. Peace. Love the hair. It's LA Hippie Jake.